know this, but you could be feeling it right now. The month of May is actually National Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month. So Mitch is here with pulmonologist Dr. Wilcox with some tips for asthma sufferers. Absolutely, Dr. Wilcox, thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me. We were, we were talking about the, uh, this time of year, the springtime, it's a, a kind of peak season for allergy sufferers, Indeed. also asthma. Uh, we all know, we've heard the name asthma, but let's just talk about the basics here. Define it for us, what is asthma? Asthma is an obstructive lung disease. People with asthma get air in okay, they struggle to get air out. Okay. Now in the old days, we used to think of it being strictly a bronchoconstriction problem, meaning uh, the airways are lined with smooth muscle. We used to believe that you would breathe something in, it would cause that smooth muscle to clamp down. But come to find out, it's really an inflammatory disease. You breathe something in, it sets up an inflammatory cascade, and that's the inflammation that eventually causes the airways narrowing. What is it caused by? Is it, is it induced by inv the environment, or maybe physical, ac physical activity, maybe uh, both? Well, if I knew exactly what caused it, I'd be winning Nobel <laughs> there Prizes. You go, there you go. But the long and the short of it is anything can, can trigger it, okay. if you have it. Um, environmental aller allergens, pollution, uh, those kinds of things. Okay. What about treatment? What do you do? Well, the, the hallmark of treatment for 30 years has been inhaled corticosteroids. Okay. Steroids are the best anti-inflammatory drugs we have. Um, and what we found is by delivering those steroids to the lungs, it doesn't cross over the bloodstream, doesn't cause all the other side effects. So the vast majority of our treatments have been uh, inhaled corticosteroid, and occasionally those are tagged onto a long-acting bronchodilator that relaxes the smooth muscles in the, lo in the lungs that causes them to relax. Yeah, so they won't be so constricted. Are there any breakthrough treatments that uh, we, we see on the horizon? Uh, the, the most promising one is something called bronchial thermoplasty. It's a procedure that you do by bronchoscopy where you deliver heat to that smooth muscle I was telling you about, and it breaks down that smooth muscle so it can't contract. That's mostly in patients who have severe asthma, um, not quite ready for people who have uh, lesser forms of asthma. Is this something you can develop even later in age? It's not just something maybe little kids have? Well, the vast majority of people who get it are kids. They usually burn out by the time they're in their, uh, into their 20s. Adults get it. Um, there's no rhyme, rhyme reason why they get it. There's no genetic predispositions. What about our, our Colorado? It's rather unique climate, uh, certainly our altitude. Does that trigger it or compound it in any way? Uh, dry air can, cause, can okay. trigger it. Allergens blowing in from the mountains, of course. Um, altitude is more affected in patients who have more severe asthma or who are hypoxemic uh, because there's just less oxygen here. Okay, very good. All right, Dr. Buckhouse, we appreciate it. Thank you for filling us in today on uh, what's, uh, what's happening. We appreciate you being here. Great. When we come back, we're going to meet this week's 7 Everyday Hero.